Also tonight, a hometown hero's final journey as his loved ones prepare to say goodbye. Robert Preschetti died earlier this month while traveling to Norm Normandy to commemorate 80 years since D-Day. Natalie Calzatoni shares more about the somber arrival before he's laid to rest. Natalie. Good evening, Matt and Karen. Robert Perchetti's funeral procession began in Leroy and ended at Harloff Funeral Home, where his friends and family awaited his arrival. He is the greatest man I've ever known. Family and friends gathered Monday afternoon to see Robert Perchetti return from Germany and be laid to rest in East Rochester. His great nephews traveling from California to honor him. My great uncle was the kindest, most generous, selfless, humble, amazing man. Honorable to, to greet him to his eternal resting place. This is where he wanted to be. He wanted to come home. He wanted to be uh, buried with uh, his wife of 64 years. The World War II veteran died earlier this month at the age of 102 after becoming ill on the way to Normandy for D-Day commemorations. Perchetti's travel companion tells me he misses his friend and is thankful for the support and love from the community. This is a great honor for him. I mean, it's been three weeks already since we, t we started off on this last journey. But I, I, I also, though, feel really good about the life that he lived. Father William Leone was Perchetti's friend of 46 years. He says he is deeply happy the honored veteran is finally home. Nell was on his way to there, remembering all of that, and wanting to honor those who gave their lives. And so we're so glad we can honor him now as he returns home. Perchetti's great nephews adding that the stories their great uncle told about his life in service will always be remembered. Would like to uh, pass on that legacy and, and lead by example and, and be a great, uh, great human being myself and, and just kind of let, the, let his light shine through and, and just you know, keep, his, keep his story alive. Perchetti's calling hours are underway now until 8 p.m. and his funeral service is tomorrow at 10 a.m. at St. Jerome's Church in East Rochester. Karen.